Let's do this for real. Welcome back to another video guys, Dark Phoenix. Mm. It's supposed to be the end game of the X-Men franchise. The X-Men franchise is almost 19 years and Dark Phoenix is supposed to be the end game like epic for the X-Men franchise. The Last Stand was the first movie to take the storyline of the Dark Phoenix and adapt it in the movie but it was not what the fans wanted. And the Dark Phoenix that we got now had those elements of the comics but the whole movie was like what if you're an x-men movie fan you've watched x-men since the first movie x1 in 2000 you should watch this if you're the fans of the actors in this sophie turner mcavoy you should watch this if you still like the fact that fox actually brought in the actual phoenix force and how it chose jean grey and you want to see how it ends in this movie you should watch this was it a great movie <laughs> definitely not was it a really really trash movie i would say no it's an okay movie but the x-men franchise ended with such a pity messy movie let's just start with the good things of this movie sophie turner and mcavoy they did a great job their acting performance was great the cinematography was great the only best ending that caused back all of the x-men franchise was a game of chess between Xavier and Magneto. Besides that, you don't have any, any, any callbacks to all of the X-Men franchise. Like, honestly for me, I felt X-Men Last Stand had a better energy compared to this movie. Dark Phoenix was a very blunt, bland and dull movie. It went very slow. And I don't get how the Dark Phoenix wasn't in Jean Grey when in Age of Apocalypse clearly they showed that she had some kind of force in her like uh, what was that was that her own power like let go Jean let go like let go what she doesn't have any Phoenix force in her at that time compared to now was the Phoenix force already in her like what <laughs> it's not a really trashy movie it's just not the best ending that the X-Men franchise deserve. I really felt Fox actually wanted to rush and end the X-Men franchise because Mickey Mouse actually bought them over but how many times Fox can make the same mistake over and over again? You had two opportunities to retell the Dark Phoenix storyline and it's really sad because we can't see the X-Men for the next four to five years maybe because Kevin Feige from my uh, research said that he wouldn't be having any X-Men movies for the next four to five years. Everything was just compressed in this movie. Even the fight scenes were just... Mm. Not all movies are bad. It's just those movies have really bad writing or those movies have really bad screenplay or those movies have really bad performance or those movies have really bad cinematography. That's my aspects. Story, screenplay, performance and cinematography. The X-Men had great performance and great cinematography. Bad, almost worse storyline and okay screenplay so 8.2 is my rating and it's actually low in my perspective when x-men the last 10 ended and they started over again with x-men first class it was really a fresh start it was one of the best movie of the x-men franchise and then they come up with another great movie x-men days of future past and since x-men days of future past the quality just declined and it just went down for dark phoenix and that's it dark phoenix is supposed to be the epic and to the X-Men franchise and turned out to be one of the candidates of the worst X-Men movie ever. In my perspective, the worst X-Men movie could be X-Men Last Stand, X-Men Wolverine Origins and also X-Men Dark Phoenix. Thank you for watching, subscribe, comment, anything you want and I'll see you in the next video.